What's up everyone? So a while back I did a video of five things that you should never say to a Vegas promoter. And that video got extremely popular and as a result, I've gotten tons of comments and questions and messages basically saying like, hey Mark, you know, I know you say you don't say this, but what should you say? Like, what should I text them? What, you know, how should I converse with them? You know, all these different aspects. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five awesome tips of how to actually converse with a Vegas promoter and talk to them in the best way possible, whether that means you want to let us to get a table and bottle service, whether that means you want to get, you know, free club entry or whatever the case is. And these five tips are extremely important anytime you're talking to a Vegas promoter. Number one, keep it short and simple. This is huge because as you can imagine, Vegas promoters get hundreds of texts a day, if not thousands of texts a week. It is insane. And all these people who are texting them are trying to get bottle service. They're trying to get guest uh, entry for the club. They're trying to do all these different things. So when it comes to promoting, if you send them a paragraph of all these different aspects and weird stuff, it just can be super annoying for them. The more short you can be and the more similar you can be, the way better. In addition, make sure you do your research. Like if you text them more saying, hey, I might be at Omni at a bar night, but I'm not sure uh, Afrojack is playing. Is Afrojack a good DJ? That's a bunch of things they have to figure out. There's a bunch of things they have to decode. It's just annoying to them because you should do your research. Know what clubs are going to be, you know, know what DJs you want to see. If you don't know the DJ's name, go on SoundCloud. Check out the DJ's, you know, most recent tracks or DJ mix or something like that. Figure out what you want to do. So when you text them, you say, hey, I'm going to be in Vegas for the next two nights. I'm thinking about Excess and Hakkasan. I want to see this person, this person. Does that work for you? Something along those lines where you did your research. You're not being annoying. You're being short and simple shit to the point. I promise you, especially to Vegas promoters whose time is extremely valuable, this is crucial when texting them. Number two, be honest. Now, this one I'm not going to go to specifics of because there are a lot of stories out there and... Just for the sake of keeping this video PG, I'm not going to go into details, but I've heard of stories of guys saying, oh yeah, I'm bringing like a ton of girls to the club and all this stuff, and it's just three or four dudes and no girls with them. Or girls who like say like, oh my god, you know, I really want to get free bottle service, which as a side note, I'll get to a little bit in this video, I wouldn't suggest texting that, but usually, and this is unfortunate to say, it's Vegas, this is just the reality, they only want to have people who are at the, you know, the tables, getting free drinks, if you can pull that off, who, like, say, are models, or whatever the case is. I'm sorry, it, it's, it's the way the Vegas works. I wish you could sugarcoat that or say that a bit better, but it's truth. And I've heard of stories of, you know, girls that say, being like, oh, yeah, you know, we have this and this look, and they're almost catfishing the promoter, and when they get there, it's, you know, three girls and four guys, and the girls don't look anything like the pictures that they sent them, and the promoter's like, I'm sorry, but you said you have this look or this many people or this ratio of girls to guys that doesn't match up with what you said. I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. So it comes with promoters. Remember that the club has a certain look or image or whatever the case is that they want. The promoter is the middleman to get people into the door. So remember that if the club says, look, we want the most attractive models to sit at this booth, the promoter has to abide by that. I mean, it's their job. Same thing if the club says, hey, you know what? Tonight, we'll let guys for free for two or three hours, but that's it. Make sure you get there on time, right? So being honest about all these in factors, it just makes the promoter's job a lot easier because remember, the promoter, in a certain light, depending on how you look at it, is at the mercy to what the club wants. They do have some stretch and some leeway here and there, but it gets super tricky and super technical depending on the night. So remember that they're really just going off what the club says that they want. So just keep that in mind. So being honest is the number one most important thing, especially for me, you know, as a guy. There's been times I go to Vegas and I've hit on my promoter saying, hey, you know what? I'm not going to lie. It's just me. It's just one guy. That's it. And they're like, you know, Mark, I appreciate you being honest. This is what we have going on. And obviously I'm well connected in the Vegas scene, but even still, being honest is really the best way to go because if you say something, they might try to put you a given stipulation that if you don't live up to what you said, might not work out. And now you have to scramble around trying to find something else to do that night. So I'm telling you, always be honest. Number three, be nice and help them out. Now, this is my personal rule. I think when you're nice to people, it just in general, especially in the nightlife industry, it really does go a long way if you truly show them appreciation, you know. Every single promoter that I've ever worked with, I say, hey, you know what, like, I appreciate you helping me out. I'm very nice and, you know, cordial with them. I even say, hey, you know what, I'm going to refer you to a bunch of people going to Vegas. I have a group of 
you know, and this has happened before, right? Like if a group of 20 girls who are going to Vegas and they hit me up saying, what's a good promoter? I'll give you a name because you helped me out, right? So I think being nice and kind of doing the whole, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. That really does go a long way, you know, just being nice and genuine with the promoter when you're texting them or talking to them or meeting them in person, it really does go a long way. Like obviously to a promoter, they meet so many people all the time. But if you're somebody who's nice to them consistently, if you're someone who says, hey, you know what, I have this many people coming here this weekend, I want to help you out. Here's, you know, their number or they might text you, you know, something like that. That really, really helps out because Boner knows now, not only is this person who's nice, but I can trust them. I'm not going to bring them into a club and they're going to do something stupid now that looks bad on me. In addition to, they help me by giving them names or numbers or people or whatever the case is. So just being nice and really helping promoters out where you can, you'd be surprised how far that will go. Even though they do talk to a lot of people, you know, I mean, that's part of the industry. I promise you, just being nice in general, because you'd be surprised, or maybe not surprised, most people in the nightlife industry are not the most easy people to deal with. Uh, but if you're just nice and genuine and, you know, you're very easygoing with what the promoter needs to do, I promise you, you'll have an amazing time. Number four, which is a gigantic one, is you are not entitled to anything. Now, this goes, statistically speaking, you know, just talking to Vegas promoters, more so for girls, but this definitely works for guys too, is remember, if you text promoter, they can help you out where they can, but it's their job to get people in the door and do whatever they can to make everybody happy. But if you're texting them saying, hey, you know what, me uh, and five of my girls coming, we want a free table, we want three free, and I'm not joking, these are texts that promoters have actually gotten saying, we have six girls with us, it's only girls, we want three bottles of Grey Goose specifically, we want two mixers, preferably Red Bull being one of them, we want a table as close as we can to the DJ, thanks. Not even asking or whatever, remember that you are not entitled to anything. There are people who are coming in spending literally hundreds of thousands of dollars a night in Vegas for those tables and this most prime real estate. You're not entitled to just get free entry just because you're a girl, just because you think you look cute, or even as a guy, you, you're not entitled if you do this, this, or this. Remember that you're, you're just another person to them. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but I'm saying they deal with so many people. So like I said in the beginning of this video, or like, you know, a couple times in this video, if you're being difficult or rude, it's just not worth it to the promoter who can just find another person. In addition to, if you're texting them, assuming that you're entitled for something, you know, I, I even know promoters who have said they've gotten texts by people saying, hey, you know what, we're going to be Vegas in the next couple of days. Uh, can we get a comp room for free and all the meals come for free and all these different things? And the promoter's like, I don't even know who you are and you're expecting all this stuff from me. That's the most frustrating thing to, to deal with the, with the promoter. In addition to imagining being in the promoter's head, we're now... You're looking at these girls and you're like, okay, well, if they're being like this to me, if I bring them to the club under my guest's name, does that look bad upon me? If they keep saying, oh, no, no, I know Joe Schmo, I know Joe Schmo, he said I could do this, that's not what they want. So just remember, you're not entitled, be nice, be cordial, and obviously, if you do try to want to get, you know, special treatment, being nice and being genuine will help you get that way better than assuming that you're entitled to everything. And lastly, number five, which is a bit of a small one, but it definitely helps them out a lot, is don't text them hugely in advance. Now, I think a lot of people, and it kind of makes sense. If you're going to Vegas, and let's say you just booked the flight in three months, right? So you're going in three months, you just booked your hotel. A lot of people are like, you know what? I'm going to text them over three months. I'm going to text them right now and say, hey, man, I'm going to be there in July 20th. I'll be there, you know, uh, what's going to be good going on? For a promoter, they really deal with stuff, I find, like, on a week-to-week -week basis. So you're actually better off texting them, I would say, two weeks in advance, saying, hey, Shane, you know I'm being in Vegas in a week. I'll text you again when I get there or a couple of days before I get there just to make it easier for you. So now, kind of going back to what I said, you're helping them out. You're saying, hey, I'm going to be there in a couple of weeks, just giving you advance. I will reach out to you because, obviously, I know your time is really valuable. And you're showing them you kind of understand how it works. I wouldn't suggest reaching out to a promoter bigger than two weeks in advance unless you're trying to book something really extreme like you want to get a table and it's a it's more day weekend you want to get a, t a table right next to tiesto with all this stuff that's a bit different but if you just want to get like free club entry or you know get guest listed or whatever you're probably better off just texting two weeks in advance i actually usually don't text them to about two days until i'm in vegas just because i know they're so busy they don't have time to deal with things even a week or two weeks out that's 
light years away for them. So the big thing I suggest is if you do want to like, say text in advance, if like say you really just want to make sure everything's okay, I'd say text them roughly two weeks in advance before you're going to be there, and then I'd say two or three days before you actually get there, saying hey, this is you know this is Mark or Tom or Brittany or whatever. Uh, I texted you a couple weeks ago, just so you know I'm going to be there in a couple of days. Whatever works best for you. Uh, let me know what you think is good for guest list or whatever. I have this many people. Here's my ratio. Blah, blah, blah. Like I said in the beginning, short and simple goes a long way. So those are basically the five tips or basically five techniques when it comes to texting and talking to Vegas promoters. I really hope this video is helpful, especially because the other one I did was more of like not what to do or what not to do, excuse me. This one's now more of what you should do. So I hope this is helpful. And if you do have any questions or comments about Vegas or going out or talking to promoters, anything along those lines, definitely post them in the comments.